Hey everybody, this video is going to be an introduction to Charcot's Triad, uh, which is kind of the, the clinical uh, symptomatology of ascending cholangitis. Uh, we're going to start with what ascending cholangitis is. Um, I drew up here some anatomy for you. We have the esophagus, stomach, duodenum, um, and then here we have the common bile duct coming down to the ampulla of otter. Um, and the circle up here in the top left is going to be the gallbladder. You can see the uh, hepatic duct coming down to join the cystic duct. Um, now, ascending cholangitis occurs when uh, you know there's some blockage or some reason for a stasis of bile in this common bile duct. Uh, most commonly, it's you know following uh, it's subsequent to a gallstone, right? So we have a gallstone from the gallbladder travels down, and let's say it gets lodged right here at the ampulla of water. Um, this bile coming down from the gallbladder and, and the liver is going to be, it's going to stop, right? Stasis. And when it's stopped there, that allows and predisposes um, for an infection or an ascending infection, right? Because we're going up this bile duct. That's why they call it ascending. It's not descending, it's ascending. It's going back up the bile duct of this infection. Um, you know, it's a good environment for that bacteria to grow in. This can even be a, like a life-threatening situation if it gets really bad. Um, but in any case, how do you know that someone's got Charcot's triad, or how do you know that someone's got ascending uh, cholangitis, rather? That is by seeing if they have Charcot's triad. Now, what is Charcot's triad? It's three different things, right? Triads. So we have one, two, and three different symptoms, signs or symptoms, um, that can kind of make you think to look for ascending cholangitis in this person. The first one is going to be right upper quadrant pain. And why right upper quadrant? Well, just look at where we're at in the abdomen. So like if we have our quadrants, the quadrant that we're talking about is the right upper quadrant, right? So you have pain there. Um, the other thing you're gonna see is jaundice, excuse me, jaundice because of that stasis of bile that we're talking about and the, the buildup of that bilirubin, right? Because the bilirubin can't be excreted. So jaundice, you're gonna see yellowing of the uh, sclera and yellowing of the uh, skin. So the second part of the triad is going to be jaundice. And the third part is just going to be your run of the mill fever. Right, so each of these things by themselves don't necessarily clue you into a particular diagnosis, but when you see all three of them together, that's when we start talking about the classic case of Charcot's triad and uh, ascending cholangitis, right? Because those three things occurring together, they make you definitely think gallbladder, and then when they occur together, it makes you, you know, you have to rule out Charcot's triad or a, uh, an infection subsequent to a gallstone or subsequent to some sort of um, bile stricture or uh, bile stasis. All right, and that's an introduction to Charcot's triad. Thank you.